is is someone there? I I can see your campfire from up here. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I I didn't mean to scare you. Please don't run away. Please. No, no. Oh, uh, I'm not here to hurt you. Not at all. Um, quite the opposite, actually. I seem to have um gotten myself stuck up this tree, and I. I need some help. Um, I, I'm, I'm up here, in this tree. Uh, no, not that tree. This tree. Uh, can you see me waving? No? Oh, that's right. It's night time. The dark time. And uh, some people can't see in the dark. That's so weird. Uh, here, I'm shaking the branches. Um... If you give this tree a couple of good shoves, uh, it'll shake me loose. I, I should be okay. No, no, not, not that tree. Th this one, the one I'm waving from. Oh, that's right, you can't see me. Um, yes, this one. Give it a good kick and a shove, and I should be able to shake myself free. I'm not crying, it just, it just hurt. I'm not used to falling from that high. Uh, let me just dust myself off and... Wait, you, you, you're a human. I, I, I thought you were a monster like me. You look so different from so high up. Oh, I've heard such wicked things about you humans. H how you like to hunt us and throw rocks at us and... You're, you're not going to hurt me. Well, well, prove it. I, um... Hmm. I guess you did just help me. But, but I, I should go. In, in case you change your mind. <laughs> ah! Oh, my wing. I think I twisted it when I landed. Oh, no. <laughs> join you by the fire, why are you inviting me to sit with you? So you can take a look at my wing? Oh, that's really nice of you to offer. Are you sure you're not going to hunt me or throw rocks at me? The last time I got too close to a human campfire, they thought I was some big scary monster, and one of the rocks they threw hit me in the head. The bruise didn't go away for weeks. Are you sure? Uh, well, okay. But be warned, I am a vicious, deadly monster, and I will gobble you up if you try anything shifty. Mm. Oh, that is a really nice fire you have. It's so warm, and bright, and pretty. Oh, sorry. Uh, moth folk like us can sometimes forget that fire can be dangerous too. It's one reason why there's so few of us left. Ah, uh, have you ever healed a moth's wing before? No? Oh, that's okay. It's, um, actually rather simple when there's another person to help, as we can sometimes get them all twisted up even more when we try to take care of them ourselves. Your hands are clean, right? Good. So, so, what you want to do is very, very gently put two fingertips on either side of the wing where it's folded over, and very, very carefully smooth it out. Normally, butterfly and moth wings shouldn't be touched, as they tear so easily, but we moth folk are very resilient and dangerous beings. <laughs> Ah, 
I'm honestly surprised you didn't run in fear at the sight of me. You must be a seasoned adventurer indeed. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, that's it. Just a, a little lighter with the pressure. It's not like smoothing out a leaf. It's more like getting a wrinkle out of a silk sheet. I, I, I can feel <clears throat> your f fingertips on my wings, so just, j just be careful, okay? Thank you. Oh, and um, uh, my name is Silka, by the way. What's yours? A wonderful name. Well, it's lovely to meet you. Even if it is a rather strange introduction. <laughs> hmm? Oh, it's, it's nothing. I just... I'm always getting stuck in places. Or bumping into trees, or lamps, or stumbling into caves. I wish I... I, I just wish I wasn't so clumsy. Uh, no, that's not what happened. Not quite. I, I just wanted to get closer to the brightest, most beautiful light in the sky. You, you can see it! That big silvery one that changes shape sometimes. So I flew and flew and got so high that that I started to um I, I started to get a bit dizzy and cold. My wings got all cramped and sore and um and I I fell out of the sky. But I landed on the tree and then you came along and then I landed on the ground. So I didn't get to see the big light, but I got to make a new friend, so that's just wonderful. <laughs> uh, you're doing a lovely job, by the way. Even other moth folk can accidentally use too much pressure when tending to another's wing. But um, for a human, you're surprisingly gentle. Almost as though you've done this before. Have you? No? Hmm. Are you sure? All right, all right. Ah! <laughs> Careful, that tickles. My wings are, are sensitive, after all. Well, they wouldn't be fluttering like that if you stopped <laughs> running your fingertips over them like that. Uh, um. Do, do, do they look all right? It doesn't hurt anymore. Ah, they're all better. Thank you so much, human. Who knew that a species that could cause so much harm could heal so gently? Uh, thank you. Truly. B but I want to return your kindness. How can I? Uh, well, yes, I am nocturnal. Most moth folk are. Can I keep watch while you rest? Uh, of course, of course. I'd be happy to. Now that you mention it, you do look exhausted. Have you been travelling far? You're coming back from the mountains. Oh, you are a brave human indeed. There's all kinds of dangerous, but beautiful creatures in those caverns. You're lucky that you managed to make it out unscathed. Oh, you like my outfit? It reminds you of someone. Well, whoever they are, they must have incredible tastes. <laughs> Speaking of taste, um, you wouldn't happen to have any, um, cloth on you. You've already done so much for me tonight, but I don't think I'll be able to fly quite yet, and having something to eat will help me get my strength back. Oh, sorry, I can't eat bread. 
or mushrooms. We don't eat human food, and instead snack on different fabrics and sweet foods like honey or nectar. It, it doesn't have to be anything big, just a, a scrap or two. Hemp fabric is my favourite. You always feel so nice and mellow and relaxed afterwards. <laughs> oh, you, you have some bandages in your pack? Th that'd be perfect. Cotton is a, a little bland, but I just need something to nibble on to get my energy back for tonight. You, you look about ready to doze off. How about this? The night is definitely the most dangerous time out here in these woods if you're a human. But, as you asked, I can watch over you while you rest. When the dawn comes, I will have to leave, as the bright light can be blinding to us, and I'll need to find a safe place to rest that's back with my eclipse. That's the name of a group of moths, by the way. <laughs> But, but you will be safe to awaken peacefully, all right? The night predators would have been long gone by then. Lovely. Now, lie down, close those eyes, and, um, I'll poke you on the nose if I sense any danger, all right? Okay. I hope our paths cross again, human. You seem... different from the others. And... forgive me, there's something about your scent that's... wonderfully familiar. It reminds me of the caves, and the beautiful crystalline caverns within them. But <laughs> I'm just being silly. Again. <laughs> mm. Sleep, human, and thank you for everything. <laughs>